said 12 years, why did it take so long to bring uh, out uh, the, the, your second album? Well, because... Uh, there was a live album in between, I think? Yeah, there was, yeah. Uh, but uh, it's mainly because we there's a big part of us that doesn't want the band to uh, become successful because then it becomes a job. Oh, yeah. And for us, it's just a pleasure. Then you, then you have to play, you must... Uh, yeah. yeah. So therefore, we made the first album, and it was really, really good, the first album. And it got very good reviews and we were su surprised but then we just went back to playing clubs and we're very happy playing clubs we really really enjoy it we enjoy each other's company and all that kind of thing so then we thought we just stopped thinking about another album yeah. and, and it's always the fans and then the fans yeah. go come on come on make another album yeah. so we went oh, okay you know and then we we looked at the songs that because we write and then leave the songs write some more we leave those songs and um so we said, right, everybody, what songs have you got? So everybody brought in the songs and we looked and we went, we got an album, you know, we've we got an album. So, yep, yeah, so we yeah, went to the studio, studio, we started recording them. And at the end of this album, I said to the guys, this is so much better than the first album. We've got to sign it to a proper record label and do the promotion for it. Who, did the, who was the producer of the album? We, we did it, sir. We co-produced yeah. with the engineer, yeah. Okay. So, um, I mean, that's it, really. It, there's, a, there's a part of us that doesn't want to become too successful because we like the low pressure. Low pressure. Yeah. Music for fun. Yeah. Because, because, music because you like fun, it, yeah. Yeah. But at the same, Yeah, but at the same time, I'd love for us to be successful <laughs> because then we can earn a living doing this. Yeah. And it yeah. is so much fun. <laughs> so, uh, it's like we don't want to jump in the water, but uh -huh. we do want to jump in the water. You know. uh, I've seen on, on the tracks that you write songs, mm. but you are not alone. No. Mm. Uh, where do you find your inspiration? Because it's, um, I think it's not that easy to write a good, no. uh, good uh, Tex Max country song. No, it's because not. Because you're but talking got, about an atmosphere, yeah, yeah, but it does we, sound good. And yeah, well, we all, I mean, for me, I grew up, my dad loved westerns, oh. so we watched westerns all the time. Every Western that was on t TV, so we watched everyone. So your daddy was happy when you told him, I'm yeah. going to record yeah. the, yeah. the country. <laughs> yeah. And um, so, so that's where it started. And um, I forgot what the question was. What was it you asked me? Where do you find your inspiration to, when, yeah. when you have to and write well, new so, songs? Yeah, new and, so I, uh, and I've been to America and I've been to... to uh, uh, sometimes my family... I take my family to America and we hire a big RV yes. and we just drive around Texas and New Mexico and Arizona and I, I just love that area. So then I want to be able to recreate that and I think, I think sometimes if you dream of a place you can actually put yourself there, you know. And so that's what we did and so we, we, we try to recreate the feel of living in the south of America and we try to recreate that in the songs and yeah. we've got very good writers. Drew is a fantastic writer as well as having a lovely voice and uh, Matt who was a musician with me for many years um, when he started writing songs for the band it was absolutely spot on Tex-Mex. Yeah. Yeah. So it just works that way. You, have, you mentioned